somebody commented and they wanted this video done so uh, I looked up found out and uh, let's get started um, just pause the video download everything description and uh, line it up in this order just so you don't get confused I mean, these two it doesn't matter but mod loader mp minecraft then buildcraft that's how you want to like install the order so to get started let's make a new folder and name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it bucket server 1.0 okay in here you know you drag in these two guys start up with the command and build to the server takes a while because it makes three worlds it makes the world another and the end I don't know what this is but oh well okay now just write and stop and this takes a while too so just be patient and uh, we'll get going Okay, so now you want to right click, open with Archive Utility. Drag this onto your desktop, close this down. Okay, open up this folder, and then open Mod Loader MP. You're going to get all these guys. So I like to go in order, I'm open Meta Inf copy this guy paste them in here and replace okay, that's all now net go into minecraft server stay here go into net minecraft server do not just like copy everything and paste it and place it in here because you're gonna replace the whole folder and you're gonna delete most of the other stuff so now just command a copy and paste apply it to all replace okay back and now go to org bucket org bucket copy mineral class in first and then look for a craft bucket open up craft bucket copy craft server and now look for entry or and tiny whatever it's called copy this in and event copy and paste replace okay now we're done with my loader MP that's the hardest one now the rest is kinda simple this one you could yeah copy and paste or straight in you don't have to go into anything else but then you have the net that you have to go into minecraft server and you have these guys command a copy and you close this folder go into net minecraft server and paste and apply to one replace now you can go back go into buildcraft do the same with this, just copy and paste it straight in here. Now it's in that Minecraft server. Just copy all these guys. Close this folder now. Go back into that Minecraft server and paste. Okay, one last thing Command A, you know, highlight all of these, compress. drag this onto your desktop highlight the folder craft bucket hit enter copy this name paste it in here and then just write dot jar use jar 
and go ahead and just replace the one you have in here. Now these guys, you could if uh, you already have an original copy somewhere else, like me, like in here, you could uh, go ahead and delete these. Okay, now just go ahead and oh, and you need uh, Billcraft, uh, the same version. You need it on a client, and I have a video on that. I will post. Uh, annotation if you want it for the client you can install it I have a video just so you could join a bucket server okay so I'm gonna start it up and I have all these cool new things like the fence gate or stairs breaker or mushroom I don't know it just it added more stuff and whatever like this right here market block filter block builder block oil refinery and all right let's play Join server. Okay, so now we're in the server. Give us some time to load. How did I join the server without my IP? That's weird. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Oh, it's weird. Well, let's uh, let's OP yourself or any other player. Just to check if it worked. OP, okay. Go back in here. You're an OP. Okay. T for, you know, type or whatever. I don't know. Like talk people. Give your person, player, name. Uh, 152. I know that's uh, a block. And let's give ourselves. Mm, three. Okay, this is an automatic crafting table from Billcraft. What does is, what this does is, uh, like let's say you have a tube, right here, and a chest right here. The chest has wood, and you have a tube, a wood tube, with a redstone engine that pumps it through here, and in here you have like, that's kind of gay. And here, like, you could have, like, a recipe, like, three wood or some shit, like a chest if you want to make a chest or some shit like that. And then you have another piece of wood right here with another redstone engine or combustion or whatever other engine you want to use. And then it'll be pumping it out into, a, like, another chest to, like, store the stuff you made. So that's what this is useful. And it's also useful for, like, let's say, like, you're trying to build something and, like, you're missing one ingredient, like you have everything in here, and you're missing one ingredient, and you like, you could leave it, go get the other ingredient, come back, and put it in. On like a regular crafting table, you put an ingredient, and then once you get out, you know, it kind of like falls out onto the floor. Kind of lame. And then you have to pick it up and redo it. So it's useful in two ways, in my opinion. <laughs> Hope you guys, uh, found this video good, and yeah, comment or subscribe. Ask for more videos. I love to make them. Help you guys out because I was in the same position. So yeah, Billcraft on a bucket server for Mac. Oh, one more thing. I do have Windows on my Mac now. Let me just close out. I do have Windows now on my Mac. I just gotta turn it on I guess so if you guys want anything with Windows on Minecraft uh, just comment on the thing majigger below and uh, yeah I can make a video on Windows for Minecraft people
it works just like a regular Windows computer. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, Volume Minecraft users out there, if you like Windows and you want a Minecraft, get this program. It's called if it can load VMware Fusion. All you need is to buy a Windows CD. It's pretty cool, actually. Just don't know why it's taking a long time to start out. No, it's taking too long, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. So, uh. Wow. I think it actually froze my mouse. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, comment, and subscribe. And, uh. Yeah, thanks for watching.